Renee is a wonderful person. I knew from the moment I met Renee that I wanted to be more involved and be more than just a every Friday volunteer or every other Friday volunteer. I think her heart draw, drew her to the need. I think, I think the need is in front of us everywhere we are. Sometimes you just don't see it, and then when you do see it, that's when you recognize it, if that makes sense. Street soldiers came from just taking it to the street. Um, you know, I see you, I acknowledge you. Um, you know, the guys stand out on the street and they, you see how people just drive past. They turn their head, they see them sitting on the curb and it's kind of, I don't see you. Don't want to acknowledge, don't want to see that there's a problem. Um, we go out and face that problem head on. You know, we say hi, we share a smile, we share a hug and that's really what it's all about, making them feel like they're seen, that they're acknowledged, and that they're they're human. Every single person has a story, and I love that Street Soldiers is about connecting to the human, because we're all in this together, we're all human. And yeah, they're in a bad situation, but they didn't, you don't wake up homeless. And that's why I wanted to be part of Street Soldiers, as opposed to just walking by and handing someone a bottle of water. You, you are their friend, you are their, another fellow human. So I've driven around with blankets in my car, you know, water bottles. I would get an extra meal at, you know, the drive through and hand it out the window. Um, the point that I really stepped in and got involved um, was kind of a little selfish. It was to help myself. Um, my, I lost my dad um, in 2016 and two weeks later I just, I found myself out on the street corner, you know, with the sandwiches and the soup and a couple of friends. and. Um, I went home with a full heart and I wanted to go back and do it again and again and again and it, it helped me with my grieving process um, of losing my dad and I think it helped a lot of my anxiety um, and I've seen it help other volunteers um, as well. That hour and a half that we're out on a Friday night, um, <clears throat> the whole world kind of just melts away and um, everybody kind of forgets their problems for a little while. We had a family that came to us three years ago um, for food, you know, hot food, um, some essentials, and we wound up learning from them that they were a successful family, uh, both had really good jobs, um, $50,000 in the bank, two cars, a house, kids and the husband wound up getting sick. Uh, he wound up with lung cancer and their out-of-pocket expense for the medication um, wouldn't get approved through the insurance and the co-pays of everything was just outrageous. They wound up losing their house, they lost their cars, and the pain medications then wound up. He wound up getting addicted to heroin. Um, lost their children and we wound up you know just giving them a little bit of hope um, being a friend it's kind of hard to accept an award uh, being kind um, going out of your way here and there is not really a reason to you know be have all the lights and the write-ups and I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of the volunteers. Um, blood, sweat, and tears into street soldiers, and it's become our lifestyle, and uh, it's really humbling. I feel as though it has changed me as a game changer in my own personal life. Uh, you recognize what's important, and you realize that the things that you have that you thought were important are no longer. It's so rewarding to see a smile on someone's face that picked up a slightly used set of sneakers and now have new tread on the bottom of their feet. They're just ecstatic. And that has been enlightening for me. You just feel very drawn to her. And I think it was the second time ever I'd gone to Street Soldiers that I found her in the crowd of people and kind of honed in on her and said, why do you do this? How do you do this? How did you get all these people here? And how can I bring it to Schenectady? Because I knew right there I needed to take her energy in keep it going if I could. Um, she's just, she's one of those people that you feel like you've known your whole life, even if you just met her in one day. And you can't say enough good things about her. She has a huge heart. She just made all this happen through Facebook and friends and family and found a cause that she was able to grow just by being 
big-hearted person herself. I would definitely like to thank everybody um, that's been involved with Street Soldiers. It takes a lot of different wheels to make it work, and uh, it's really humbling, and we have a lot of appreciation for the volunteers that take time out of their day to be a part of it. And to thank Sunmark for awarding this.